Hi guys, it's Matty Ace, and we are going to focus on some of those really, really satisfying moments of Battlefield 1. Some of them are long kill streaks, some of them are just short moments of epicness. Starting off with the MP18, my most used gun in the game. I have the mines, which I just placed a few just a moment ago. I should have already switched to the AT rocket gun because of this guy coming around the corner. However, this works just as well and might be even more satisfying. Now, speaking of the AT rocket gun, I'm sure you all know how frustrating it can be to play against some of the good cavalry players in the game, especially maybe on this particular map. Now, the SMGs of the Assault class isn't really the best to counter horses, I'm sure you know. However, the AT rocket gun is fantastic, as long as you can predict the movement of the horses, all, like in the first case here, just shoot them straight up. Now, the second horse here was a little bit trickier, I had to predict its movement and aim a little bit to the left of it as it was turning left, something that is called leading. So, you remember those mines I had when I killed that tank hunter? Mine kills. Yeah, I really like using mines, especially in the beginning of a round. And many times I get the kills with the mines after I switch to another kit, and I don't even remember that I placed them in the first place. Here I got a little bit of additional damage. As you probably know, we used to be able to place mines next to one another and stack them. This doesn't work anymore, so many times you just damage a tank instead of actually killing it. So now some of you guys have been wondering why I'm using the Farquhar heal so much as of lately. The reason for that is that I'm getting somewhat close to getting 100 service stars with this weapon. Uh, which is also the case with the Model 10A shotgun, or the Model 10A Hunter, uh, which is a shotgun for the Assault class. So that's why I've started using them a little bit more again, and uh, hopefully I'll get at least one more weapon to 100 service stars before I start streaming Starfield in uh, the beginning of September. Now, some people are asking why the Farquhar Hill, Honestly, I don't really know why this weapon would be better than anything else. The Howell is, in my my opinion, basically just as good. So is the Self Slaughter. But for these uh, type of mid-range engagements, uh, the Forkohoril is, well, at least as good as any other for uh, my playstyle. So uh, it's when I play Medic on more close quarter combat situation or in uh, smaller maps, that's when I prefer either the Fyodorov or the Odd Loading. How are there so yeah, many yeah, people looking at us? Yeah, that is a bit suspicious. So the streams have been really fun lately, it's been a lot of action, a lot of intensity and uh, of course me being hunted by stream snipers left, right, center and basically throughout the entirety of every stream gives you guys quite a lot of entertainment so I hope you enjoy it. There's never a dull moment in this game that now is about 7 years old and we still enjoy it every day. It's gonna be a bit um, sentimental to switch to another game, but uh, yeah, that's, what's ha that's what happens with all games. Nothing lasts forever, and uh, Battlefield 1, I'm gonna take at least an extended break from it when Starfield is released, and I cannot wait for this uh, legendary game studio to release another game. Bethesda Softworks that made the Fallout series and Skyrim. Oh, watch out, behind you! Oh, there's two there! <laughs> Oh no! Aiming down sight to that range. So now, something that is apparently a little bit controversial actually, and that is kit switching. For whatever reason, there was a lot of people in the Battlefield community that didn't like this uh, feature, and uh, they wanted to have it removed in Battlefield, uh, tw uh, Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 2042, I guess. It's also somewhat removed. It wasn't really removed, but it was changed in a way so that it made it less effective. Now, if you're still playing Battlefield 1, you definitely should take advantage of uh, kit switching. If you are playing Assault and you're having a good run, the number one thing you probably will need is ammo. Especially ammo to resupply your gadgets, just like this. 
We have taken objective apples. What's up, Pete? So, how are you doing? Have fun. That's why you supply yourself with an ammo crate if you can. So, half of the video has already passed. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you will enjoy the rest of it. I hope I will see you all in the next live stream. Big thanks for watching. Bye bye. I can't know if it's available with only one. Oh, they're pushing me now, it's like loads. Oh, yeah, if I can get that, it would be nice. We have a translator that took it. Oh, are you serious? My team, even. He switches. Shotgun. Oh, nice. Star. I'm going places with this one. Cruise the score. Hold up. Let's wait, sir. A flame so you They're all the way on D, I think. T'es blessé? Je vais te soigner.
Écoutez, je vais te soigner. T'es blessé, je vais t'aider. 